snow has already began to fall in the mountains and here in the Denver Metro. All right, Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson back in person on this weather action day. Uh, what are we looking at here, Mike? Well, this is going to be a pretty good storm. Not a lot of wind with it, but very cold temperatures and enough snow to really slick up the roads. It will not be good for making a snowman because temperatures will be far too cold, but it will be tough on travel. That's for sure. Snow increasing at 7 o'clock. Temperatures dropping to 15 by 11 p.m. As far as today, it's been a cold one. 30 the high 21 so far as the low nowhere near the records of 73 and 25 below averages are at 44 and 19 downtown. You can see light snow is falling. Temperature is down to 24 at the airport. We have 25 at our studios. The barometer is rising now as the winds come out of the north northeast at 14 miles per hour. Here's the map of radar over the last two hours. You can see this band of heavier snow down over southeast Aurora and down in Douglas County, but it's a pretty good area of snow all along the I-25 corridor. There there is snow coming on the other side of the Continental Divide, but of course the radar beam kind of shoots up over that. So if you're not seeing snow on the radar, you may well be seeing snow falling in Summit County, Grand County, and up toward Route County. As far as the amount of snow we're going to see, let me step out of the way. It's going to be a good snowmaker. Anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snow in the mountains and foothills west of the Continental Divide, a little bit less on the other side of the divide, and a good 4 to 8 possible along much of the I-25 quarter. Here's the cause, and this is going to be a big problem for other parts of the country country do because it's mild and humid out ahead of this cold front right along this cold front. A terrible ice storm is going to develop across the central part of the United States. We'll get snow as this low pressure system moves along the front. And so tomorrow snowy and slick and much colder across the state. Morning low temperatures six below at Steamboat 14 below up at Craig where there won't be very much snow out on the eastern plains single digits and teens expected. So right around 12 DIA 13 for downtown Denver as cold as four below at Kremlin and 10 below at Walden. Very cold, snowy and slick tomorrow morning. By midday, it's still snow covered roads and cold by late in the day. We'll start to get that snow diminishing a little bit, but the temperatures go nowhere tomorrow. Just in the single digits and teens statewide, very cold air expected to continue. Here's the map tomorrow. We have bitter cold conditions early Thursday, the ice storm heading off to the East Coast, and by the time we get into the weekend, dry, milder weather starts to come our way. So here's your seven day forecast and it's cold 13 tomorrow, seven below Thursday morning, 18 in the afternoon, zero Friday morning, and then up to 35 and then 40s for the weekend and by Monday 52 under mostly sunny 